Coming up on this week's newscast, one of the Bishop's own speech and debate members gets state recognition, and the baseball team is now led by a new coach, and the students weigh in on what to do during spring break. All this and more on this week's episode. Get ready because BNN starts now. I'm Emily Gonzalez. Bishop yearbooks for the 2020 and 2023 are still on sale. If you have not yet purchased a yearbook, go to johnsons.com and order one now. This year, instead of the traditional Lenten Bowl charity drive, Bishop students are bringing in non-perishable food items. The Lenten food drive ran this week and students dropped off food items in their theology classes. Well, towards the end of February, I just was thinking about Lent and Easter and I wanted to make a meal for all the people that don't have enough money for Easter. Um, our goal is to create an Easter meal by the end of Lent for everyone going into food drives. Um, so the food is going to St. Vincent de Paul. Um, they can take it to the theology class, their teacher. There's a list of what they can donate to. The speech and debate team headed down to stay on March 11th where junior Grace Sheepish broke the quarterfinals and ended up placing in the top 24 in the state in United States extemporaneous speaking at this event, Mr. Kevin Bergon, speech coach, and Ms. Lorenzo Pastrick, principal, were also designated speech coach of the year and speech administrator of the year. Here's Soraya Casianos with more on the story. On February 25th, the Bishop Mills speech team competed at Concord High School for sectionals. Speech team member Grace Shebish qualified in United States extemporaneous speaking and headed off to compete at State in Indianapolis at Fisher's High School on March 11th. I'm looking forward to like different competition. Typically there's not like there's gonna be like forty one other competitors, so that's gonna be pretty cool going against like a big group of people. Grace broke into quarterfinals, putting her in the top twenty four in the state in United States extemporaneous speaking. With this special accomplishment, speech coach Mr. Bergen was chosen as coach of the year and principal Mrs. Patrick as an administrator of the year for speech and debate. All right, kudos to speech and debate. Um the reality is the speech and debate when I first started here was kind of non-existent. Um, thanks to Mr. Bergen and the work of the kids that have committed to the program, they've been able to grow, um, really be recognized um, from a state perspective too. I'm able to go to a few tournaments and uh, coaches speak volumes about the kids that we have in the program, about the coach, um, and I'm thankful to say that I think we're making our mark in the speech role. The speech team had a great season this year and are looking forward to next year's upcoming season. In sports news, the girls' softball team is rebounding this year after the loss of quite a few seniors. The team, which will play at Hammond Central on March 28th, is looking to start the season strong. Here's Delicia Crawford with an outlook on the season. This year's softball season is looking to be a roller coaster of events. With over 20 freshmen joining the squad, the team will have to work hard for their goals. Some say that they believe this year will be very crazy, but they think it will be fun because all of the girls bring a lot of energy to the team. With trials just commencing, each roster holds 12 action-packed girls who are all ready to bring everything they have to the table. With the addition of all the freshmen, both JV and varsity consist mostly of underclassmen. Some underclassmen believe that it is a hard role to fill being younger on the team because they believe it can be hard to fill the shoes of previous seniors who have departed. It's definitely scary because you have like older um, teammates that, you know, but like I think that personally we get along really well and like it doesn't matter like as long as you're like semi good then you're good. Last year's team ended their season with a record of 6 and 13. This year's the girls hope to change that around and end the season with a winning record and to accomplish many of their personal goals. Personal goals for this year are probably to have a good batting average and to connect with the team. On March 28th, the Lady Warriors play against the Hammond Central Wolves. Last year, the Warriors beat Hammond Central 19 to 1, so this year the girls hope to bring another win home. The, base the baseball team is starting their season with a new head coach. B 
BNI baseball alum and math teacher Eloy Malero. Here is Emilio Hernandez with more on this switch up. Along with the anticipation of the new season, Bishop Mills baseball team is welcoming a familiar face as their new head coach, Mr. Malero. Malero has decades of experience in both playing and coaching the game of baseball. He played both at Bishop Knoll and at the college level, and in recent years has been coaching the Bishop Knoll team as an assistant coach. So actually, when I first started, I was a theology teacher here. I didn't want to coach, and then Coach Julian was right across the hall from me. He kind of just came into the classroom one day. He was like, hey, do you want to go ahead and coach? Well, Malero has been coaching baseball at Bishop Knoll for years now. It is his first season as head coach. Um, coaching is tough. Coaching is tough. It's much easier being an assistant coach for sure. Um, there's a lot more into being the head coach than just actually coaching baseball. His new embarkation on taking on the role of head coach will admittedly not be easy. However, Malero has certain plans to take on this season's challenges. We have a lot of guys. We have a lot of guys with um, good speed. Um, so with that being said, um, we're going to try to play small ball. I have no problem winning games 2-0, um, 3-1. to zero, three to one. The baseball team will play Munster on Monday at 4.30 at home and at Lake Central on Tuesday at 4.30. Have you ever wondered what you could possibly do in the Northwest Indiana region during spring break? Well, yeah, me too. Uh, what was fun is boat car riding. The funniest thing to do in spring break is um to watch Kevin Hart. Uh, it's a couple things. You can go to McDonald's. Um, you can go to Hammond YMCA. The Hammond YMCA and White Castle. And, uh, visit my dog Caesar at Dave's Hot Chicken. Sleeping is always fun. New restaurants, that's always fun. Like, you know, tasting new food, hanging out with family and friends, like, that's very fun. It'll be basically spending time with family and also trying to catch up on my TV shows on Netflix and also on CBS and other, you know, networks. Uh, I want to learn how to kayak. Yeah. Somebody brought that to my attention, so I want to learn how to do it. Probably going downtown. It's very underrated. I think people should go downtown more. It's very beautiful view. Lord knows, you just got to get out the house. Thank you.